Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and this is my precious charnery. So she's gone home, guys. My baby girl. She left yesterday. So yesterday morning she left. It was it was so hard to, to see her leave. It really was. Uh, she's in her 30s. <laughs> So, I mean, I can't make her stay, but I think she's really thinking about moving here and it would be great because I would fix up the other property for her and then that would be her house, not mine, her house. So, we'll see. Um, one day when she tells me, I'll get ready and get ready for her. So... Yeah, and a Bubba. Oh my goodness, my Bubba's gone. <laughs> he was an angel. No, he wasn't. <laughs> but in my nanny's eyes, he was an angel, right? <laughs> Anyways, he uh, he went after the cats a couple times. It is what it is. The cats are fine. I mean, they definitely, if they fought back, Bubba would never go near them again. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But it's, yeah. So we did a lot. Um, so we dyed yarn. I got my orders all done. So they'll be going out this week. I got... She dyed some cotton. Now, I can't... I can't insert it through my phone through this computer, but I'll talk about it in a in another um maybe when I do my yarn tour because my girl came and helped me and Tom, we all got this room done. I was I don't know about you guys, but after I had issues right with when Bella was sick so I was I couldn't just I couldn't get the room done I couldn't get it reorganized I just couldn't get it done so my phone's going off <laughs> I don't it's way over there I'm not even gonna look at it uh so they we sat down well we didn't sat down we just started doing it and it was easier with someone else here and not even if they did much it was Okay, so Chantel helped me. All she had to do is sit here and we talk it out because I need to talk things out where things should go. After I put it all away, my husband went and he had to re -or like make sure everything was standing up except for this row because there was too much. Everything had to be standing up. Everything had to be just, it had to be right. He says it looks better. We moved this shelf. My, um, this is my neutral shelf. And we slid it over. So it kind of went that way now. So now on that wall instead of that. It, when I do my room tour, you, you will see more. Honest to goodness. <laughs> you will know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'll explain it in that. Um, what I got done, I barely crocheted. I got done my friend's blanket. I am sending Thrift's uh, a baby blanket for her grandbaby. And she, because I know she doesn't have time. And I know she just, blankets aren't her thing. Wearables are more th her thing. And I love doing blankets. I love doing wearables, but blankets, if you know anything about me and my, pa like, I love it. And I would do s blankets for everybody around me. So I, this is all I did. But, but I wanted to do one for her son too, Patrick, her sweet Patrick. He wants a blanket, but she, she was like, I just can't get it done. Like, and I said, Give me his colors. I have, tell me his favorite colors. I'll just whip up a blanket and I'll send it with your baby blanket. So she did. And 
I love it. It turned out good. I know I'm jumping from one. It's the ADHD guy. <laughs> the room will do a tour on it last next time. I'm going to tell you that it has no border. It's some this this is all I did. I did no crocheting for three days. So I'll show you the blanket and the yarn I used. Now for, I did put out a tutorial on the Sunday. So yesterday, this is Monday. Um, I put out another tutorial for the Boggy Creek blanket. Another Boggy Creek blanket. I am designing another one. That's why I have all this mess here. <laughs> Because when I design, I want to, I do it out of a couple yarns and figure out which one I want to do it out of and work it that way. Now, so that, but it's just yarn. I can bag it up and put it back on because there's a hole there because <laughs> I took that yarn out. So uh, let me show you the blanket and let me talk about the yarns I used and... Yeah, I don't know if it's big enough for him, but it's it's a good TV blanket. How about that? Uh, I used Saver, cause he, and we love yarn from the um from Hobie and Ice Yarns. He likes primary colors and green. I do not have a good green in a four weight yarn. I just don't. Not for um, primary colors. I just don't. I know We Love Yarn from Hobie has a great green, but I don't have any. I don't know. I thought I had some, but I don't. So I had this dark green, which will be fine. It, it is a dark green, but it is a green. It's this. And for the yellow... And the green, I used Saver. It's a four weight. It's a thick four weight. Love this yarn. I love working with it. It's 100% drail on acrylic, 200 grams, 330 meters. I don't know how many yards. Uh, five millimeter hook. But I use, I used a 6.5 on this blanket. Mm-hmm. And I just did a, a stitch. It's um, single crochet, half double crochet in the same stitch. Skip a stitch. Or, yeah. That's how I skip. Yeah. Skip a stitch and do it again. So I started with the green. I went to the red, yellow, blue. I did 20 rows of each twice. So it's pretty big. I love texture blankets. I love when there's a little texture and you can see it. So I try making most of my stuff like that. I love the texture with my sweaters, with my blankets. I love it. Okay, so I used, now oh, see, I <laughs> was designing. Uh, there's, I used the big mega balls. In this ball, there is, it's a four weight one, 100% acrylic. It is they're soft and it's perfect for a child, a kid, and you wash it, it gets, it's softer. I love this yarn. It is 4%, oh, it's 100% acrylic. 5.5 knitted needles, 5.5 hook to a six millimeter hook. Like I said, I used a 6.5. Wash and dry all that stuff. So yeah, and in these, you get... It's a 400 gram ball, 700 meters, 765 yards. So I used not maybe a half a ball of the mega ball of each color. And it's beautiful. I love it. That's upside down. <laughs> so I started with the green and both sides look the same. The wrong side, the right side, they all look the same. So I did 20 rows of each, did it twice. So there's... Yeah. So he has his primary colors and he does have a green. There's a green in there. Well, I hope he likes it. I really do. I really do hope he likes it. Um, 
it doesn't take this this pattern is so easy to do it works up really fast now my first boggy not my first this year boggy B creek blanket i did the squares in the same pattern it's so easy one row repeat and you just watch tv and you just get her done you get her done so yeah so I hope he likes it. I hope she likes it. I, she's so thankful and everything. So I'm sure it'll be fine. I will link, uh, link thrifts below. She dyes yarn. She does amazing job. She has, um, she has, uh, boxes she does every month. She, she's a busy girl. She does these, um, skiing Things, so five or six um, hanks with color. So if you don't know which color to go with what, she she does all the work for you. She's a busy girl. I don't know how she does it all. And she's an amazing dyer. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I got all my orders done. I got all the stitch markers done. They'll be mailed out. I only have, this is nobody, which is fine. Um, the fingering weight of the blue. Now, it doesn't, <laughs> it really doesn't do it justice because you can't see the purple in here. It's a dark, dark purple, but it's beautiful. So I have that, but I can keep that and maybe I'll figure out something to do with it. I don't know. Anyways, that's it for today. I, <laughs> I just want to relax today. Um, I'm the kind of person that's, uh, is used to being alone and loves being alone and loves concentrating and working and not staying up late. Well, when she, my daughter's here, it's, I'm, we're not that I don't love having her. Don't get, don't, it's not that. But when she, if she moves here, she'll be here all the time, but I won't feel that I have to cram in so much time together because she's leaving, Right. And we did, we did just ran out of time. She wanted to make stitch markers. We ran out of time. And it was so sad to let her go. It really was. I really did not. But I had to stay strong. I did not cry until after she left. Because <laughs> I, I knew she, she really didn't want to leave. But it is what it is, right? And Bubba has... Uh, some dental surgery he has to do when he gets back. So it's, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, that's it for today. Um, I don't know what I've got much going on this week. I want to do, cause I may, we made up a kind of a little shift thing for the ducks and the baby birds outside. I want to show that because I, I think you all would like to see the baby birds. Well, they're they're so grown. Oh, they're so grown. I just like one started stop one started cockadoodling. <laughs> I know for sure I have at least one or two at least two roosters in that bunch. And one started cockadoodling <laughs> with Mr. Man in the morning. Now I can never catch him. And either can Tom to see which one it is. It's only first thing in the morning he does it. Mr. Man does it all day long, all night long. Well, not all night. He likes to sleep. He calls the bird. He calls his ladies in at night and that. So, and then, so they're outside now full time. They sleep inside. They have where the ducks were. We put them there. And then we kind of had a, like a, because there's only two ducks, right? And there's seven chicks. And they need, they, I thought they'd want to roost, but they don't. They cuddle together and right by the door and that's where they sleep. So eventually they'll get on a roost. Um, well, the ducks don't roost. So I, I, Tom, they have way more area than the, the chickens, the chicks, the babies. So I want to show you all that Annabelle's doing amazing my daughter fell in love with her wanted to take her home that that's a no no she's mine can that's 
freaking cheap. <laughs> Can't have my Annabelle. Um, yeah, so we all did great, but I want to show you all that. And I want to show you this yarn room, yarn room. And maybe probably after this tutorial for this blanket that I'm working on now, I want to do something that I don't have to think. Do you know what I mean? Uh, kind of cleanse my palette and do somebody else's creation. Um, there's a cup, there's one boggy blanket that I really want to do, and that's Lilan's. Linan. So, and it's a t Tunisian. Now, I'm not great at Tunisian, but I think I can do it. I, I'm going to try. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, I hope you all have a good day. I'm just going to watch <laughs> I have not watched any tutorial any basically hardly any YouTube so I got to get caught up <laughs> so I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you soon bye everyone